the woman in the window is your only friend. You can only look out the window, see another person. You can't talk to them because we're in lockdown. The woman in the window. But I believe everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my April TBR for 2020. If you are new to this channel, then you do not know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR every month, and she always has a fun little theme to go along with why she chose the books. So the theme for this month has to do with the fact that Ontario, where I live, is going into our third lockdown for the coronavirus pandemic, and we are unable to leave our house, so it's basically the theme of we're stuck in the house and we can't fucking get out and we are sick of it. So the six books that she chose have things to do with the house. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that she chose is No Exit by Taylor Adams because we have no exit, we can't leave the house, we're stuck here. So this is a thriller that takes place in a snowstorm and when a college student is traveling trying to get home, she gets stuck at a rest stop with four strangers. While she's there, she notices that there is a little girl locked in an animal crate in the car beside her and it's like her trying to figure out what to do in that situation. I have heard nothing but really good things about this book so I'm very intrigued and very excited about it. It says a determined young woman must unmask and outwit a vicious psychopath in this tense and clever tale of suspense. I have like a really weird obsession with psychopaths, serial killers, that kind of situation. I find them so interesting and like intriguing and I just want to like be in their mind and see like what the heck is going on in there. So I'm definitely excited about this one. I think it's gonna be really really good. The next book she chose is another thriller. It's Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris and this is because we are all behind closed doors and again there is no exit. You can't leave. Lockdown suck. Just saying. This is about a couple that seems perfect on the outside, but the neighbors get a little suspicious when they start to see some warning signs. And I think that it's like everybody starts to worry about her and tries to figure out like, is the husband hurting her? Is something going on? How do we help her? That kind of situation. I'm thinking that like, things are gonna take a turn and it's actually the wife who's fucking crazy and doing stuff to the husband, but I don't know because I haven't read it yet, but I'm intrigued. It says that the perfect marriage or the perfect lie and I would like to know. The next book is The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. I believe that this is becoming a movie or a TV show soon or it's already been released. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. She chose this because the woman in the window is your only friend. You can only look out the window, see another person. You can't talk to them because we're in lockdown. The woman in the window. This is another thriller which I am very excited that she picked a lot of thrillers because I just personally enjoy thrillers more than other books. This follows a woman who mostly keeps to herself drinking some wine all the time so I'm gonna say that she's probably an unreliable narrator which I also am a big fan of but a family ends up moving in across the street from her house and she witnesses something that's a little bit troublesome and she needs to decide what she's gonna do about it. I think it's gonna be really good. I the do. next book she chose is A Noise Downstairs by Linwood Barclay. This is another thriller. She chose this because you can only go downstairs and upstairs, so if you hear a noise downstairs, you're gonna go to it because maybe it's something exciting, but probably not because we've been in the house for a year now, so nothing really exciting happens anymore, but that's fine. This follows a man who is driving home one day when he sees his co-worker driving very erratically, so he gets a little bit worried and decides to follow this co-worker and discovers that he is actually trying to dispose of two bodies. He almost ends up losing his life that night, and now he's struggling with PTSD from that situation. His wife decides to buy him an old typewriter to try to get his mind off of it and get his creative juices flowing to see if that will help them. Then he begins to hear some noises coming from the typewriter. His wife and son say that they have not touched the typewriter and they don't know what the noises were. But then he starts to think that the typewriter might be haunted and has something to do with that night. So I don't know, ghost story? I'm not really sure. Is the guy stalking him and like trying to freak him out? We don't know. We're gonna find out though. I recently read a Linwood Barclay book and I think I gave it a three out of five star. It was called Elevator Pitch. Like it was entertaining but it wasn't anything spectacular. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be better. It's only my second book by this author so we'll see what we 
think of it when we finish it. The next book that she chose is The Walled City by Ryan Grodin because we are basically in a walled city of your house that you can't leave. Do you see the theme? Can't leave the house. But this is another thriller, but I think it's more of like a suspense kind of situation. I don't really know how to explain it, so I'm just gonna read like the tagline part of it, but it says 7.30, that's how many days I've been trapped. 18, that's how many days I have left to find a way out. So it's about this girl who's pretending to be a boy who is in this like walled city and they can't escape. And then they meet another boy who has a secret of his own. And then he says that he can help her find her missing sister. And it's like the story of that. Honestly, very confusing. Probably makes more sense once you read the book, but the synopsis, I'm lost. So I'm going into it a little bit blind, but I don't think I've really heard that much about this book either. I, I have seen a lot of people haul it, but never review it. So perhaps I will be one of the first. Or I'm just not looking hard enough. That could also be what's happening here. And then the last book that she chose was 13 Doorways, Wolves Behind the Mall by Laura Ruby. She chose this because there's a lot of doorways in your house and she just needed another word about houses, so that's what this one's all about. I'm not 100% sure what this is about either, but it says that it is a story of two young women, one living, one dead, dealing with lost desire and the fragility of the American dream. So I don't really know. I know that there is a family whose mother dies. The two sisters are left at an orphanage by the father. They think this is only temporary until he shows up on one of the visiting days with a new woman on his arm and train tickets out of there. So they end up being left there forever and it's them trying to like deal with what they're supposed to do next or something like that, but there's also a ghost. So I don't really know, very confused. I've literally never seen anybody talk about this. I believe I got this from a Frenzy event back in like 2018, so I probably should have read it by now, but I never did, so now is the time we're gonna do it. All right, everybody, so that was my TBR for April 2021. Hopefully, we actually get some of these books done. The second week of April is my exam week for school, so I'm not 100% sure how much reading is actually going to be done because we don't get a break afterwards either. We go straight into our second semester. I don't know. We'll see if any reading gets done as I'm filming right now on April 2nd. We've actually already read one book. Not from this TBR, but one book has been read. So we're doing better than we had in March. So let me know down below if you have read any of these books, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!